passing the note making global headlines at this hour. We have learned this evening that Mikhail Gorbachev has died, the last leader of the Soviet Union who helped end the Cold War and the threat of nuclear war. And we've also learned tonight of his final request. Mikhail Gorbachev, the last leader of the Soviet Union, rising to power after seven decades of communist rule. He helped end the Cold War. Breaking the mold of the Soviet leaders before him, he was outgoing, charming those he met. Heads of state, Fidel Castro, Margaret Thatcher, Pope John Paul II. The image of him with then President Reagan and Vice President George Bush, the Twin Towers in the background. Here, driving President Bush in the golf cart at Camp David. Born in 1931, working with his father on the farm, becoming a member of the Communist Party in 1952, where he would rise through the ranks. President Reagan at the Berlin Wall in June of 1987 at his famous speech. Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. It was just six months later at the White House, the two leaders together signing the INF Treaty. The two joking and President Reagan and those words, trust but verify. We have listened to the wisdom of, in an old Russian maxim. Though my pronunciation may give you difficulty, the maxim is dovayai no provayai. Trust but verify. <laughs> you repeat that at every meeting. <laughs> Gorbachev was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize in 1990. Tonight, Russia's state news agency is announcing Gorbachev's death at the age of 91. He asked to be buried next to his wife. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.